Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong. Well, the other day, I had to return something that I was holding on to, and it belonged to a friend of a friend. Yeah, just a friend of a friend. And the first friend, she's no longer in my life. That's the way it feels. And, um, and so, I was holding on to something for this other person. And uh, it was some video that her daughter shot, and I was going to try to edit it for her, but it's in the wrong format, and it won't play on anything that I have. Um, and so I've been procrastinating because it was an uncomfortable situation for me. I don't want to talk to her about how this other friend is doing. I know it sounds childish, but that's the way it is. Sometimes uh, things get intense, and you just say, that's it. The point of the story is, though, when I was dropping this, this off, I called ahead, you know, and she answered the door, and there were her kids, and, and uh, she asked me, you know, how I was. We exchanged ple pleasantries, and she said, well, you know, is there anything up to anything new? And I said, no, just fighting the good fight. And she said, the good fight? And I knew kind of where she was coming from, because cause she, she's a churchgoer. I mean, they've invited me to attend church with them on a number of occasions. And I have, and uh, sometimes I, you know, I have to like sit on my hands and bite my tongue so I don't like say anything during the service because I'm so disagreeing with what the man was saying. Not that I'm anti-Christian, you know, and I'm I'm not an atheist. I'm probably more of an agnostic. Well, my problem is 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 with some of the churches that that preach politics, and this church does. It delves into politics, right-wing politics. And um, this us against them, this idea that that uh, that the secularists are are uh, are undermining society. Actually, I think the secularists have the clearest heads, and there are some Christians that are coming around that are talking about peace and saving the earth. And if I get a church around here that preaches peace and saving the earth, I'm going back to Sunday school. Okay, but I haven't found one yet. Not that I'm really looking, but. Um, but it got me thinking, fighting the good fight. And why did I say that? She said, fighting the good fight. And I said, well, I guess it all depends on whose side you're on, whether you think it's a good fight. I mean, we all think that we're fighting the good fight. And um, she kind of gave me a puzzled look. And then I changed, changed, changed the subject. Um, so it got me thinking about YouTube. I mean, the past few, few months have been great, but I've been kind of like, burnt out in a way. I mean, some of the fight has gone out of me where I don't feel like talking about political philosophies or engaging with some of these right-wingers because they just seem so hard-headed. And hard-hearted, that's a lot of it. I mean, as far as, even a person who's a right-winger, you can tell where they're coming from in their heart. And sometimes I do meet a right-winger or a conservative that seems to me like their heart is in the right place. But for, for those of us that are left of center, and I have yet to encounter some leftist radical on YouTube. I have not. Um, everybody's so nice. And I don't want to go down the list because I might miss somebody. But I will name three of the people that, I, that you would not think of as like, oh, you know, fighting the good fight because they're the comedy people, the raunchy comedy. And uh, the Leon Show and Old Frank and uh, Doc Rusty. And uh, from watching their shows, you know, they call themselves the network of evil, but they're not. I mean, the humor is really in bad taste. Uh, and uh, it's great though. Like I've said before, it makes me laugh. And I don't recommend it for, to everyone, but I've exchanged uh, messages with these people and they're great guys. And we're all on the same page as far as, you know, wanting to see good in the world. And if you look at their humor, a lot of it is that. It's satire on what's wrong with society. Um, I'm a little off topic here, but when I, when I thought about fighting the good fight, I was thinking of YouTube, and I was thinking of the people that I subscribe to and those that subscribe to me. And uh, there's some really, really great people. And uh, um, some future point, maybe a Fez night, I will name, name names of these great people. Um, you know who you are. Um, so anyway, I think some of the fight's gotten back into me, though. Um, just George Bush. If somebody starts talking to me 
face to face about George Bush, all the energy comes back. That man, that new book that's come out about him called Dead Certain, I think, Draper, I think is the name of the author. Man, some of the stuff that's in there, it's just outrageous, you know? Anyway, I'm not doing a book review, but I guess the topic was, was fighting the good fight. And let's all of us keep, keep it up, keep fighting the good fight. Even if it's saying stuff on YouTube, it's worth something. It's got to do something. I mean, anyway. This is Citizen Kong, signing off. Cheers.